Hey, what's happening, y'all? Welcome back and thank you for stopping by. This time I'm showcasing a very strong strength fate fire build using the amazing Magma Worm Scale Sword with not one, but with two swords, making the power stancing as well as unique skill Magma Guillotine so powerful that you almost don't need any offensive incantations at all. With the builds I make, I try to play the majority of the game to test it and after doing it with this build, I recommend it 100%. So let's check out how you can do it too and how to play it correctly. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. You gotta love those talking potatoes, right? I love them. Uh, first, before diving into the build, I want to thank you guys because my last video was well received and it's been the best video so far in my channel. It's been crazy. I can't believe it. So I want to thank you all for your love, your likes, your comment, everything. It's been unbelievable. So with that out of the way, let's jump into the build. Uh, so the build revolves around the Magma Worm Scale Sword and the great unique skill called Magma Guillotine that when used creates a magma pool on the ground making massive damage on impact and also doing damage over time if the enemy stands in the magma. And that's not all. You can do a follow-up second attack if you hit the skill button right after the first impact. This second hit is very important, making even more damage and also dodging backwards that will help with the enemy's counterattack since this is a very heavy build because we're using the two swords. This great sword has uh, fire damage built into it and having two equipped means we can power stance using the left bumper to do attacks using both swords. So that means you will do more fire damage hitting with the two swords as well, the fire damage from the magma guillotine skill. So the idea is to increase that damage of the weapon hits and the fire damage with buffs and talismans. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But not only the fire damage is important, the strength attribute is important because the damage scaling of this weapon is really good with strength. One way of playing this build is by only using the skill and the sword hits because of the already massive damage. Uh, but using offensive incantations brings a little more depth and support to the build. I've added a few offensive fire incantations that will help out in a specific situation, uh, like attacking at a distance since the magma guillotine and the sword itself has a short to medium range. And for that, you need a few points into mind to be able to use incantations more often and more points in faith to scale those incantations with the seal that you got. Like I said before, the main weapon here is a Magma Worm Scale Sword and it drops from the boss Magma Worm Makar in the Ruins Through Precipice in the northern part of Liurna of the Lakes. You encounter that boss when you take the secondary route starting at Vellum Church to reach Altus Plateau if you don't have the seal to activate the Grand Lift of Dectus. The boss drops only one, but you can get a second sword uh, easy enough just reaching this area again on your second or your next playthrough. But playing with only one sword uh, in the meantime is powerful enough, but the downside is that you won't be able to power stance. This sword has a unique skill called Magma Guillotine that can do massive damage and damage over time with the summon magma pool on the floor. It cannot be infused with any other acts of war and has a follow second attack that you may or may not know that does a chopping attack and does a little backslide that avoids leaving you open for counter attack. Also, when doing this skill, you can be interrupted, making it even more dangerous to the enemy when trading. And another thing to know of this skill is that it's not a charge attack, so you can't use any talisman or anything that, that increases damage for charge skills. It scales well with strength and fate, making them our two most important attributes. Uh, the requirements are not that high, so you can start using it in no time. For the supporting incantations, you can use the giant seal that has excellent scaling with faith and boosts giant flame incantations. Uh, but what does that mean? Uh, what is the giant flame incantation? That means all the incantations of this build that I'll show you uh, are buffed by this seal. The armor that I use for this build is just for fashion again. I mean, I'm used to do, you know, cool characters that I like and look cool. The helmet, it's called Hyrodas Cleanstone Crown. For the chest, I'm using the Fire Monk armor. Uh, the gloves are the scaled gauntlets and the pants are a land of reed greaves. If you want, you can use more points on, on endurance to be able to use heavier armor. The talisman to use uh, to increase massively the fire damage are 
First, the Fire Scorpion Charm that will increase fire damage by 12%, but increasing the physical damage you take by 10%. It can be found in Fort Laid in Mount Gullamir, up the ramparts on a wooden platform. Next talisman is the Great Jar Arsenal that will increase by 19% the max equip load. So this build can use the two swords and some heavy armor pieces as still, and still be able to do fast rolls. It's dropped when beating the three NPC invasion summon in Dragon Bearer, next to the Great Jar. You have to defeat them all without dying. Next is the Shard of Alexander that increases attack power of skills by 15%, especially the Magma Guillotine skill. And last is the Carrion Filigree Crest to decrease the skill cost by 25%, so we can cast the Magma Guillotine skill a lot. For the Physic Flask, uh, you want to have the Flame Shrouding Crack Tier to boost fire attacks by 20%, it drops from the Earth Tree Avatar in Minor Ed Tree in Kaelid. And also for the second one, you can use the Cerulean Hidden Tier to have zero FP cost for 15 seconds. That was fixed on the new patch 104.1. Or maybe if you like the Opaline Bubble Tier that will negate damage. Uh, that, that's the one that creates a bubble around you. It really depends on your playstyle and what you prefer to do with the last lot of the Physique Flask. The incantations that you will use the most are the ones that will buff your fire damage for your swords and the Magma Guillotine skill. First, you want to use the Golden Vow that will give you 15% damage increase and 10% damage reduction and will last 80 seconds. And the second buff, uh, most important, is its Flame Grand Me Strength that will raise by 20% the physical and fire attack power and will last 30 seconds and will stack multiplicatively with Golden Vow. So it's a must for this build since it uses physical attacks with the two swords and fire attacks with the Magma Guillotine skill and also buff the support incantations that are not that important but give, you know, a little flexibility and more capabilities to this build. So one of those support incantations is the Flame Sling if you need a cheap fireball to hit at a distance. If you need a more expensive and more, you know, damage dealer spell, uh, there's a giant flame take D. So there's more room to add more incantations if you like, but I didn't add more because the most damage is, uh, is done using the power stands uh, of the two swords or using the skill Magma Guillotine. So this is a late game to new game plus build, mainly because of the use of the two Magma Worms uh, skill sword. And in order to get it, you need a second playthrough. So remember that the main attribute of this build is strength, then faith, then vigor to increase that HP pool for tough encounters, mind to be able to increase that FP pool to cast more of the Magma Guillotine skill, incantations, and also some of the most powerful Ash summons, like the Black Knight Teach that uses a lot of FP to summon. A level 50 or more, you want to have the Vigor at around 20, Mind a little bit at 13, Endurance around 15, Strength at 30 or around 24 uh, to make the requirement of the Magma Worm Scale Sword, as well 15 Dexterity and 20 Faith. At level 100, you want to have Vigor around 30, Mind around 25, Endurance if you need more, uh, Strength at 55 for the second soft cap. Dexterity we don't need, so still at 15 as intelligence, and faith around 25. At level 150, you want to have 80 strength to get to the third soft cap, 50 faith to get to the second soft cap, uh, 40 vigor or more if needed, mine around 25 still, endurance around 15, and we don't touch dexterity, intelligence, or arcane at all. So yeah guys, that's the build. That I wanted to do around the Magma Worm Scale Sword the moment I got it. And I realized I was missing out because with the latest patch buff, it's one of the strongest weapons and the skill is unbelievably amazing. So I recommend 100% that you use it and kick butt in Elden Ring. The short range of the swords and the skill gets compensated with the massive damage it puts out, paired with some support incantation to reach long distance. I think it makes uh, a pretty awesome fun and versatile end game to new game plus build so i hope you enjoyed this build like i did thanks for stopping by to the channel please slap that like button for youtube to recommend this video to more people if you have a similar build or want to share your experience please do so on the comments below i'm looking forward to read them subscribe if you want to check out more Elden Ring builds 
as always, take care, be safe, and see you on the next one. Ciao.